In today's Sunday Spotlight, we're here with uh, Mr. Joe Weswick. Uh, Joe, can you introduce yourself and uh, introduce your kid and what school he attends? Yeah, I'm uh, Joe Weswick. Uh, my son, uh, Joseph, uh, played for Port Gallard, played for uh, AAU teams, played for uh, 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 several local teams, and was under Jamel's tutelage for probably about five years. Five years. And um, we, we've become close friends. Jamel uh, and Joseph, uh, he's almost become like a, uh, a mentor to my son. And uh, Joe had, uh, had 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 some ups and downs through his uh, school years, and uh, the, the connection with Jamel helped definitely helped him pull pull him through some rough times. And Joe had a unique situation as well, where um, I'm kind of a single parent, and uh, he didn't always want to listen to me, but very often he took the same advice from Jamel, but to Jamel he would listen. <laughs> right, right. So we had a great. Because <laughs> he had the ability. He had the opportunity, but it comes to a point in someone's life where they're just not getting what they want out of it anymore. And we're hoping that all that dedication and work uh, will blossom in another area. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he really is looking forward to going, with, going to college and, and working in sports journalism, I think that would be a great uh, transition from the court to another field. Right. And, 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 um, and I do agree the regimen that he he's been through would prepare him for that. Um, because being a sports journalist, you have to know, understand the IQ of the game, as far as personnel, teams, just the overall um, perspective of it. And Joe has that. Um, and um, we're working right now, um, actually he's working with the foundation, helping train and uh, so he's developing more um, more IQ and more regimen from a, from a, from a, a, a trainer standpoint. Um, there's some things um, talk about some things that um, that transpired since um, um, he stopped playing. Um, was it some? Was it, how did his attitude change from? Like, I know he was real frustrated at one point, and now yeah. he's not. Yeah, I think he, he, he had a lot of weight on his, sh his shoulders because I think a lot was expected of him mm -hmm. uh, by the coaches at school, by you, by me, because we can, we saw how he could play, and I think uh, it was just a little bit too much for him. And so there's been, a, there's been a, a, I guess, a, a burden off his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like he got to the point where, you know, when he got to, when he got to the gym, I think he, he started like, you know, feeling just a little bit of, of stress. Mm -hmm. And um, there was expectations on him that, that he just really was not up to, um, I guess, delivering. Right, and, and, and that's common. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of parents go through the same thing too, them athletes. Um, and our last author Ray talked about the mental approach, the mental concept of the game. Um, can you share with parents some ideas as a parent with what you were going through, um, sitting back watching it, being his, knowing he's frustrated? And what are some things that, that you know you can tell the audience, our parents, of your approaches to him and how you dealt with the situation? Yeah. Well, the one thing that um, I, always, I always appreciate that you were able to kind of get through that pretty easily. Um, when, for whatever reason, you know, uh, when this, it was a similar situation with you and as with other coaches, with you there was always still a, a, a bond where it never got to a point where there was that level of stress. And um, uh, as far as myself, um, I always felt, you know, um, I've, <laughs> I always felt that when, we, when he was with you, he was in, in good hands, and I know he was. Um, and um, I played basketball all my life and um, watching him with other coaches sometimes you see they're not quite getting out of the boys what they could or out of the athlete what they could or they should and um, that's the one thing I, I saw with you is that you were able to really um, take the, take their their ability and, and convert it into real life into, applications yeah and, 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 and you know, the one thing also I would want to say is that uh, the, the one thing you really did also was prepare Joe for off the court. Many of these p children, kids, players you're going to be training are not going to make a college team. Right. They're going to decide after high school not to go out. Right. And you, 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 know, you definitely instilled in Joe a lot of you know, the work ethic, the, the 
dedication, the idea of responsibility. In fact, uh, you, he continues to work to you, with you today, uh, help, helping out when you're training kids. But it may be different than what I was with. But I, I feel you, you, you equipped him, you, you uh, definitely uh, uh, gave him a greater love for the game, a greater appreciation. And one day when he's on ESPN, we'll be able to look back and say, <laughs> and say well, that was all well worth it. Um, Joe, uh, like I said, again, the Day Foundation, thank you for, for giving us the opportunity to work with you know, Joe, and we appreciate that. Um, and we, we look forward to working with other kids in the future as well. Um, this concludes our Sunday Spotlight, and Mr. Wesley, thank you for, thank you for your time, and um, we appreciate Joe as well. Sure, man. Thank you. Okay.